Hey everybody, this is Dottie and this is Dots on a Map. Uh, today we are in Istanbul, Turkey, the city of cats. And today we're just going to be walking around the city, exploring a little bit and discovering some Turkish food. So you definitely want to watch all the way till the end and yeah, come join us. Before we dive into the food, let's talk about the cats of Istanbul. As a crazy cat lady, this city feels like some sort of paradise. Cats are everywhere, and local residents provide shelter and food for them. You'll find cats hanging out in some pretty unexpected places. The cats here are incredibly friendly. This one is all about the love. We start our day in the hip and modern Biolu district on the European side of Istanbul. For breakfast, we're at Van Kavalti EV. It's one of the most popular places in Istanbul for a traditional Turkish breakfast. And we are starting off the meal with a cup of traditional Turkish tea. You can see people drinking these all over the city. Breakfast in Turkey is a celebration. At Van Caval TV, you get a decadent spread of dishes for $5 a person. We've gotten our breakfast, and as you can see, there is a huge assortment of dishes. Um, so Turkish breakfast, you have your basket of bread, and then an assortment of sweet and savory accompaniments. So for example, you have fresh vegetables, you have fresh cream, this is menemen, a tomato, egg, and pepper dish, an assortment of cheeses, olives, spreads, etc. So you really get a huge variety here. I'm gonna start off with this menemen. It's a traditional dish with, made with egg, tomato, and red pepper, or peppers in general. Um, so I'm going to use this piece of sesame bread and get a bit of it on here. Okay, cheers. Mm. Oh my god. It reminds me a lot of shakshuka. Like the egg is a little runny, and the tomato is kind of in sauce form. And then the taste of the pepper really shines through. It's really warm, savory, really, really good. Mm. What to try next? <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna go for the fresh cream. And this is honey. So cream and honey is never a bad idea. So I'm gonna mix and match. You can get a little creative here. It's like a really thick texture. It's almost like butter. Oh yeah. Add a little bit of honey. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. That cream is so good. Man, it's incredibly fresh dairy. It's so rich, so creamy. The texture is great. It's like a softer butter. It melts in your mouth. Ooh, I could like eat that with a spoon. So cheers, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of this breakfast. We are mostly finished, and we're gonna take a walk around the city to burn this off. So join us and get a little peek of Istanbul. Large um, pomegranate and orange. Orange. Yeah. Mm. So fresh. After breakfast, we cross the Golden Horn and make our way towards the old bazaars in the Fatih district of Istanbul. 
vibe here is much different than the hipster Biolu district. It feels more traditional here, more historic. It's also incredibly crowded. But we are on a really crowded market street on our way to the Grand Bazaar. We just crossed the bridge and we stopped in front of a vendor selling olives. Now you may notice that there's something a little bit different about these, um, namely the fact that there are purple and pink olives, which I've never seen before. So we were curious and we asked the vendor and he says that the purple olives are actually preserved in blueberries for six months and the pink olives are preserved in beets for six months. So they're naturally dyed to get this color, which is super interesting. I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay, I'm trying one of the blueberry olives. Mm. It's really good, but I think dyeing it in the blueberry is just for aesthetic because it doesn't really taste like blueberries or anything. It's like a savory, slightly acidic olive. It's good though, really pretty. <laughs> this is such a beautiful olive. Okay, so this one is the one that is dyed with beets. Oh yeah, it's chaotic around here for sure. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so kind of the same thing, purely aesthetic. The olives taste pretty similar to normal olives, but gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. All right, all right, pistachio. <laughs> there are so many sights, sounds, and smells to take in on these market streets. From mountains of colorful spices and teas to pickled goods and traditional sweets, you'll find a little bit of it all. You're from Libya? Yes, from Libya. How do you like the market? Yeah. Very nice place. Very nice. Uh, many times here. Yeah. Just, uh, Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice. And tasty. Yeah, yeah. very sweet. Oh, yeah. Every sweet. Yeah. Like, like you and your uh, friend. Oh, oh, thank you. Nice <laughs> Have a nice yeah. day. Have a thank great you. day. Yeah. So on our way to the Grand Bazaar, we stumbled across the Spice Bazaar, and it is vast. The ceilings are so high. There's like this nice orangey light in here when the sun pours in. We're surrounded by nuts and spices and dried goods. Like it really truly feels like we've just stumbled upon like a whole new world in here. So we're going to take a look around and show you if we come across anything interesting, which I'm sure we will. <laughs> we're at a tea shop and it is stunningly beautiful, and we're going to try a sample of tea. What kind of tea is this? It's blackberry. Blackberry. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have a blackberry tea. You can take a look in there. It's a gorgeous deep purple. Cheers. It's hot. Ooh. It's sweet and it's very vibrant and fruity. It tastes like a juice almost. Mm. Okay, so we made it to the Grand Bazaar. It's right behind me, but it's closed on Sundays. But luckily, this store Yay! is open! Yay! Yay! Something special for her. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks so much. Welcome. Some Turkish delight. And now you know if you're in Istanbul, don't come to the Grand Bazaar on Sunday. <laughs> Trying this very interesting tea. It's eucalyptus with menthol, ginger, and stevia. And what makes it really unique is when you smell it, it's literally like a blast of mint, like your nostrils kind of clear up. If you've ever used Vicks Vapor Rub or like an Asian menthol oil stick that you rub on your temples, like it has a very similar sensation to that. 
<laughs> so we're getting some Turkish delight to heal our wounded souls from the Grand Bazaar being closed. <laughs> we're getting a variety box. Look at how pretty they look in there. <laughs> we're ordering some Turkish coffee and it's made in a really interesting way. So the coffee grounds are mixed directly with water in a copper pot and then it's put in heated sand and you just kind of go like this for a while to heat up everything. So we've ordered one and we're going to try it out inside. <laughs> I'm making coffee the traditional way. <laughs> Um, so now we were told by a very nice guy drinking a cup of coffee outside to wait a little bit. Um, since the grounds are mixed directly with the water, it takes a little bit of time for them to settle. Mm, it's very rich, very smooth. It's got the flavor of like a strong dark roast coffee. Uh, and it's not sweet at all, but there's not really like that bite of acidity or anything like that. So it's like a smooth experience. It's really good. Little caffeine kick for the afternoon. We made a friend. She's purring. So many sweet cats of Istanbul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After wandering the streets around the old bazaars, we end up in Taksim Square, a nightlife, shopping, and dining district that is always vibrant and busy. Istanbul is the most populous city in Europe. There are close to 16 million people living here, and you can really feel that in this neighborhood. <laughs> He just encountered some supporters of the Galatasaray and I told them Barcelona and they're like wanted to kill me for a second. <laughs> I was like jokes, jokes. <laughs> okay, we're at a place called Drumce and we've stopped to get kebabs, a quintessential Turkish food. So it's essentially different types of meat on a skewer grilled over hot coals and we're going to order a selection. Let's start with the most exciting part, the meat. Um, over here is the lamb kebabs and they're served in little cubes. Ooh. You can see a lot of them are nicely charred, just like I like it. And it's served with a type of grain, not exactly sure what it is, and slices of seasoned pita bread. And over here is spicy adana, which is a minced beef, also grilled on a skewer. Let's get a healthy bite of lamb here. And you can see they've seasoned it really nicely. We're sitting outside, so it's smoking. <laughs> mm. Mm. Fatty, really crispy. It's got a charcoal flavor smoked. Mm, really good. Moving on to the Adana. I'll get myself a nice hearty bite. Cheers. Tastes like a spicy seasoned hamburger. Really, really good. And the service here is super friendly. The owner is really nice and has been talking to us the whole time. <laughs> 
Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Dots on a Map. We hope you enjoyed this episode in Istanbul. Uh, we know we loved walking around and eating all the food. Please hit the subscribe button below. It would be really appreciated. And see you next time. Bye.